What's up guys, Mark Santos here and welcome to another tutorial. If you have watched my previous video of fast cut sequence, which you can find the card right now at the top right of the screen, I shoot everything with a tripod. So there should not be any kind of movements except for my hand that is cleaning the bike. And in this video, I will show you how to add those zoom and panning effects to your video. Before we get started, sample videos has only a 1080p resolution. Zooming a lot might affect the quality of your videos, so if you are to do this, make sure that you shoot at your highest resolution or do not zoom too much that could affect the quality of your video. I will export all these sample video clips at the end of this video so that you can see the final results. Let's begin. First, I have a spinning coffee cup. Here we will add the zoom effect. Go to effect controls. Under motion, click on the scale. It will create a keyframe. Drag or play your video until the end of the clip and determine your zoom value. So when you play it again, it will create a zooming effect. Next up, we have two speeding cars. This is a drone shot. So there is already a camera chasing movement, but what we will do is that we will add more movements with panning and zooming to follow the cars. Again, go to effect controls, under motion, click position and scale. It will create a keyframe for each. Drag or play your video until the end of the clip and determine your position and scale value to set how you want your frame to end up. play it and you can see that it is like we are chasing the cars. Last, we have this football player making a field goal. What we will do here is we will follow the ball to the goal. We will not start our keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Instead, we will do that once the player kicks the ball. Now here, as the ball started to move, we can now add our keyframes. Go to effect controls, under motion, click position and scale to create our entry keyframes. Play the video. Now as the ball reaches its peak, we can now add our values for the zoom and pan effects. Drag the position and scale as to where you want your frame to be. Since this is the highest position of the ball, the next movement would be the ball starting to descend. And for that again, follow where the ball will end up in this clip. And there. This is where the clip ends. So again, we can make another keyframes by moving again the position and scale. And here you can see we have another set of keyframes. So when we play it again, it's like we are tracking the ball. So that's it for this video on how to add zoom and pan effects to add more life and movements to your video. So if you got any value out of this, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.